This hydro dipping question comes from one of our YouTube viewers that asked, do you have any videos to show the process of what happens after the dip, like cleaning off the surplus film and then the taping up of the dip side after it is dry, etc." Y'all got questions? I got answers. Let's do it. So we got a lot of questions in this comment. We'll break them down one by one. Do you have any videos that show the process of what happens after the dip? Yeah, like most all of them. I honestly don't hide anything in my videos. Like I show you guys everything that I do. It's just sometimes it's fast forwarded because it's a little boring. But every dip is exactly the same. You dip and then you rinse afterwards. I got a video I'll link to right up here about how I built my hydro dipping tank and how you rinse stuff after you get done hydro dipping. It's really detailed and in depth so you can go watch that video. But the short of it is when you get done dipping your part's going to be covered in stuff that looks like catfish slime. That catfish slime stuff needs to come off. That's the PVA. You can either rinse it by hand in your sink or outside in your driveway if you want to, but I build a rinse tank that does it automatically for me. So as far as rinsing time goes, it really depends on the temperature of your water. If your water's cold, like say 50 degrees, it may take 10 minutes to rinse all the PVA off. If your water's warmer, like 80 degrees, it may only take a couple of minutes. As a general rule of thumb for me and my shop, I let everything rinse for 10 minutes. No matter what it is, no matter what the temperature is, I just set it in the rinse tank and let it rinse for 10 minutes. If you're doing this by hand in your sink or out in your driveway, good luck. 10 minutes is a long time to sit there holding a sprayer, which is why I built the rinse tank. He also asked about cleaning off the surplus film. I'm assuming he's talking about the film in the tank. My tank cleans it off for me. That's why I have it. It's automated. I just push a button and it moves all the surface of the water over to a filter and it filters off all of the unused film. I know a lot of you guys and gals are doing this at home in a Rubbermaid tote. And that is totally fine. Go get you an aquarium net and you can just sit there and scoop out your little pieces of film that are left over. Or you can do it really easy and just dump the water out and put new water in it every time you dip. It's up to you. Just get the old film out of the water. And then he asked about double dipping and the taping. It's really simple. People put way too much thought and effort into it. I've got a video that explains all about how I double dip and how to use the tape. I'll leave a link to it right up here, but I'll go over it really quickly. Take you some tape. Take your part, put some tape on it. It does not have to be perfect. All you're doing is just taping off the one side that you don't want to get hydro dip on. Once you got some tape covering the side that you don't want to get dipped, go ahead and dip this one side. Leave the tape on it and throw it in your rinse tank or go in your sink and rinse it off. Once you're done rinsing, allow it to dry. If you want to let it dry overnight, that's fine. Go back and dip it the next day. If you need it dry quicker, go get you an air hose and blow it off until it's dry. Remove the tape from the first side. Get you a new piece of tape and stick it on the other side. <laughs> dip the other side and then do the same process. Rinse it off, dry it, and then you can go clear coat it. Not difficult at all. I promise people put way too much thought and effort into it. I'm sure people have lost sleep trying to figure out how to double dip. Not that hard. Just just tape it, dip it, dry it, tape it, and then dip the other side. You'll be fine. Ooh, can you tell I get asked that question about 40,000 times a day? So yeah, that pretty much covers it. It's all fairly simple, not a whole lot to it. If you have more questions, leave them down in the comment section below. I will gladly answer them for you. And now the moment you've all been waiting for. Let's roll the bloopers. So Kusa Maximus, Kusa, 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 C O S S A. How do you? Y'all and these silly, silly names are driving me insane. Do you have videos that show the pros? Pro, do you have any videos that show the pros? So as far as, so, so as far, not so as far. So far, Ugh. you know what? I did not mention anything about the purple tape. Somebody's gonna ask me about the purple tape. I know they are. I got a video on that. I need a shirt that says I got a video on that. I get asked so many questions that I have done a video on. People are like, hey, you need. I got a video on that.